Happy Labor Day, everyone! It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. We've been in and out of the pool. Tim's over there power washing the house, and I'm sitting here. Mimi's down there. <laughs> Having a cookie and eating some of these crackers. Veggie. Drinking fancy. I'm out of the pool and I'm dressed. We are heading off to the store. Oh my god, do you shop every day? Do you? Yeah, I shop every day. I know a lot of people shop every day, but I don't shop every day. Some days I don't even leave the house every day. Okay, we just got back from Save a Lot. Save a Lot. Save a Lot. No, yeah, Save a Lot. <laughs> I got some chicken breast, three chicken breasts for five dollars and fourteen cents because we're gonna use our last bit of chicken for dinner tonight. I got some we got some original blend, seasoning blend, salt free, Mrs. Dash. We use all that kind so I got two packs of Kool-Aid, pink lemonade. Um, I got two packs of fajita mix. I don't know if I use two, but that's why I got the chicken for. We're going to make fajitas, fajitas this week sometime. I'm just using this this season until I figure me up a, um, a recipe for this. Homemade like I do my taco seasoning. Okay. Got some stuffing. Haley wanted some stuffing. She wants to make it for dinner tonight. Um... I got some elbow macaroni because I wanted to make some uh, macro, uh, pop, macaroni salad. Ugh, whatever you want to call it. Got some more of these for the girls to snack on. Um, and we're making these tonight. These are bushes. They were $1.99. Original seasoned with bacon and brown sugar. Baked beans. 98% fat free. High in fiber. Yeah. I'm going to get us for tonight. Uh, just a little pack of Snickers for 99 cents. Got some of uh, these orange slices for a dollar or something. And I'm going to make a peanut butter pie, which I will show you all. I have a video on it, but I'll still show you all again for my new people. Uh, it comes a crust. This is just a um, graham cracker crust. A tub of Cool Whip and some peanut butter. And I already got the peanut butter up there. That's what we got. Okay, guys, I'm going to start the peanut butter pie. I know you can't really see my face, but I'm just trying to, you know, kind of make it where you can see the pie and not my face, really. <laughs> there we go. Fix, Got to fix the shirts. Okay, like I said, you need Cool Whip. You put the whole tub in here. The whole tub. I hope this ain't frozen still. Yeah, it kind of is, but... It'd be alright. Once you start whipping it around. Look at that. Once you start whipping it around. It'd be alright. Okay. And I'm going to put a little chocolate syrup on top too. Let's put... This is a big spoon. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna I put one big spoon I showed you. So I'm gonna do start out with two big spoons. And I just usually do this to taste, so don't ask me how much peanut butter I put in here. Because I just do it to taste. And you just stir it up to get all the peanut butter mixed in with it. Now, yeah, there's a lot of other recipes out there that um, people add all kinds of other things to them, but trust me, this is good. You don't need all that extra stuff in it. Trust me on that one. You really, really don't. You got to give it a good stir now, let me tell you. And this pie is delish. 
everybody loves it. Gotta give it a great good stir. See how it's starting to get the brown to it? Yeah. What you want. But. Mm, I'm just going to put a tad bit more in. If I can get it to come off the spoon. And I use... Jeff, natural peanut butter. It's kind of like, it's kind of we like, everybody likes. I don't like that cheap off brand peanut butter. Why? I don't know. I just don't. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> I'm almost done mixing, I think. Anyways. See, and look, it's gotten really thick. It has, see? So that's what you want. Like I said, I just do the peanut butter to taste. You start off, you know, with a little, because you can add more, but you can't take away. So, so I'm getting the crust up here. Get it opened. Get the spoon out of your way. And out of my way. Shmoo. I could record and save a lot again. I wanted to do a save a lot video, but, you know, show you inside the store, but they had music blaring, so... It's like, uh, no hope for that. That's not happening. It's nice and hot outside. Been in the pool once. I was in there earlier for about 40 minutes. So, have some good exercise. Okay, finally. I'll put it up on here so you guys can see it better. Okay, and then you just take it and so put it in there. Break it out. Oh, I can smell the peanut butter. Now, you have to like love peanut butter to make this pie, let me tell you. You have to. Because if you don't, you ain't going to like it. God's the hike peanut butter. Okay. Okay, and then you just smooth it out. Simple, simple, simple. Does it take very long at all? And then it turns out good. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Cool Whip on top. Just a thin layer. I think I got a little extra Cool Whip here. See, and there we have it. Fitted right in there perfect. Got some in here. I'll have to use this spoon because I didn't get another spoon. Put a little bit here, spread it out. Can you guys see that? I hope so. Not here. Let me throw it down just a little bit for you. Put this on top, like so. Give it a little spread. Very simple. Okay. You're going to have a bunch on here, but it ain't going to come off unless you use your finger. So, it might work. Okay, there's the cool whip on there. It is so full of sun out. I don't know why it looks so dark in here. Okay, and I'm going to just use a little bit of this chocolate syrup. Just drizzle a little bit on top. Like so. If it'll come out. Make it look pretty and yummy. Okay. There you have it. And then you let it sit in the refrigerator and chill for a few hours. 
Okay, here's our chicken. Tim's got it all together. He's got a bunch of seasonings on it. And we got some fresh bell pepper out of the garden we got yesterday. And some onions. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, guys. I'm making... See? Okay, there. That's better. You guys can see it, right? I thought it was upside down for a second. Backward, but we're having stuffing. It's chicken flavored. Duh. Do not know where how to make. Oh, there it is. It's on the side. I thought it was over here, but it's not. Um. Okay, so I need I need to make. Don't put that there. <clears throat> I need to make. Yeah, I think it's just water and butter. Mm -hmm. And, uh, right, so and one fourth cup of vegetable oil. Okay, so, oh, you guys can't even see it. There we go. It's time to pour the stuffing in. Shut it off, bring it off the burner, let it sit. We also have baked beans back here. We're going to wait to turn those on because we are wanting to um, let the chicken cook before we start putting those on because we want our baked beans to be warm. Okay guys, so I the stuffing is done. Just giving it a good old fluffer. Beans are over there. <laughs> um, you want to put the lid back on them because if you then if you don't, they're not gonna taste right. Daddy is over here making. What are you making? Hot peppers. Just vinegar. Making hot peppers. And soaking them. Because I won't be able to eat all these up before they go bad, so. They are fresh out of the garden. Which, they look really yummy. Not really. I'm not really a hot pepper kind of person. Oh, yes, you are. Like, I wouldn't really. These ones here wouldn't be hot. What, what kind are these ones? Like the banana peppers? Yeah. Yep, usually they let them get yellow, but these ones are kind of a little bit green, but they're still bad. Oops, I forgot to put the little ones and the little red ones that I chopped up. That would be hot. Yeah, he chopped up some red. You can see it right there. Mm, yeah. Okay, so we're out here. Got the chicken on. Here's the chicken. Logan Robbins. This bigger piece was here and here, and I moved it over here. Looking good. This is called a gorilla mat. You can get them anywhere. You'll probably find them on, on Walmart online. There's our peppers. Our peppers and our onions up there. Looking toasty too. Yummy. And it's nice and hot out here. So yeah. And I want to show you guys an update on my ponds. Look at that. The morning glories have taken over. And that's what I mean by the morning glories taken over. All my stuff's fell. So I gotta get that picked up. We was over here, there was pressure washing the house and the cord knocked those over. But yeah, look, it's cleaned up on our meter and everything. This is it. So morning glories, they'll take, they'll take it. We're also, here's some Brussels sprouts we got out of the garden yesterday too, when we was there. So I think we're gonna throw them on. We'll put some olive oil, some
So the seasoning. I just want to take them along and all. Yep. These are fresh little ones out there. Okay. Yummy yum. yum. Yep. I'm getting the garlic powder. And then some Mrs. Dash. Because we love our Mrs. Dash Queen. Someone call me that Mrs. Dash Queen. Yep. Yep. So yeah, well, some good stuff. Yeah. And a little bit of olive oil, and we are good to go. Keep them from drying out too much or sticking. Them look, them look good, don't they? Oh, I can't wait to try them. We all love Brussels sprouts. I know a lot of people don't. Well, quite a few people don't. Okay, now I'm doing some corn on the cob. I'm going to shuck some corn. We're having us a right all feast. Oh, yeah. Usually I kind of pull all of them down. Ugh. Then I usually take and just break off the end. Boom. Then I'll take and wash all these little hairs off of it. It's the best way to do it, ain't it? Yeah, I think so. This is all the corn we got now out of our garden out of the garden, so ain't gonna be no more corn in the garden. This year. Doggies wanted a treat. <laughs> they smell all the food, so they want a treat. So there we go. Wanna drop y'all? <laughs> Okay, y'all, dinner's done. Here it is, and yes, it's a lot of food. I don't even know if I'm sure I'll eat it all, but we're having us a great feast. Corn on the cob, chicken, macaroni, stuffing, and the Brussels sprouts right on top. Yumma! It is good. Okay, folks. I shucked my corn off, so. Let's dig in. Mm-hmm. Mm. These beans are delicious. Mm. It's a bell pepper and onion. Mm-hmm. Got that right. Now, turkey sandwich today, I'm starving. Oh god, this chicken is good. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. It is delicious. <laughs>